Hi YouTubers, it's Alex Voice here, what means today we have new tutorial. I'll tell you how to create automatic and on-demand reports using ThingsBoard Professional Edition. As I said, reports can be generated either from the currently open dashboard or as scheduled issues. Yeah, scheduler feature will help us. The report server is rendering dashboards in a headless browser and then sending data in PDF, JPEG or PNG image file. On each generate report request, the ThingsBoard node sends a request to the report server using the configured endpoint URL. The system administrator can configure the report server endpoint URL using ThingsBoard YML. Now hands on, let's continue operating climate system in our virtual office. This time we'll work with thermostats instead of air conditioners in previous tutorials. In this video we'll start learning role-based access control feature. But there is a separate tutorial on security and permissions on ThingsBoard. Surf it in the playlist. At the beginning, let's create a new role, read only. It can be granted either to a group of entities or be common, generic. The role allows us to require or deny access to exact dashboards and devices for chosen users. Now imagine you have two customers, A and B. Each has a thermostat. A and B respectively. For this moment my customer A provides thermostat A and thermostat B belongs to customer B. Thermostats measures the temperature, yeah? We need to add the telemetry field. Go to edit bar and select the column tab. Add a new tab with time series entity field and type in temperature Celsius degrees. To make degree sign press ALT and 248 on your numeric keypad. Next step, we need to turn on devices. Our team developed a generator rule chain. Just be sure you've downloaded by clicking a link in the description. Go to a rule chain, import temperature data generator JSON. Input names of devices according to your choice. Mine are thermostat A and B. I specify them in nodes. Do not forget apply change. Then move to dashboards import a dashboard. This dashboard allows us to see device state and detailed telemetry in progress. To generate report on these devices, click the Export Dashboard button located on the right side of the dashboard toolbar. It simply looks like a download arrow. Select the desired container, for example, JPEG. The report generation starts. Ready to use file is automatically downloaded in the selected format. Easy dizzy. But we do not want our customers to receive non appropriate information. Remember the role we've created at the beginning. Apply this role to some customers A user. Create a user. And now he or she has general permissions for this type of entity and users of customer A can view our demo reporting dashboard with devices that belongs to customer A. Just log on as customer and go to dashboard panel. You see, only thermostat A. Now we are going to the next level. You will see how to generate a scheduled report using ThingsBoard's scheduler feature with an option to send the report by email. First of all, pay your attention on the Generate Report rule chain. This is a default rule chain. It determines whether the system will send the report by email or not. 
If the message body has a field send email and its value is set to true, the message with a report file reference in the attachments will be routed to the email related rule node. Thingsboard is not a mail server and it cannot send emails by itself. You need to set up the mail server. Go to the white labeling, then mail server, you'll see the outgoing mail server setting. You need to modify these settings like every typical email client, according to your system settings. Click the send test mail button and check if the mail will be sent successfully or not. Now, set up a schedule for the report generation. Go to the scheduler, create a new scheduler event. Enter the name of the scheduler event. Select generate report event type, select demo reporting dashboard. Report name pattern gives your reports preferred typical names. Then select the report format type. Check your cell, generate test report. If OK, go on. Check the send email checked box to allow the system to send the report by email. Set up the email configuration. And finally, go to Schedule tab. Input start date and time. For example, I select today as a start date and the start time in a minute or two to have a result immediately. Let's check the mailbox. Here's the email sent by the scheduler event. To send direct reports to customers with appropriate data, just uncheck Use current credentials and choose the right one. For example, our customer user. Add his email and schedule an event. He receives a dashboard only with Themastat A telemetry. All generated reports are persisted in ThingsBoard. Our platform provides access to the generated report files via the reports widget. It has the ability to filter the files of the reports. The widget can also search files by name. Each report file can be downloaded by clicking the Download File button. To have it, create a dashboard to display all scheduled reportings and all sent emails. Enter the edit mode, a pencil in the right button, and add a new widget, scheduling. Click the add button. Next step, add another widget. Select the files as a current bundle. Now you can see all sent report files. Save the settings. We have both scheduled reportings and sent reports on the screen. If you want your customer gets information in progress, modify the scheduler event to generate the report with a specific state. Select the dashboard state, select themastat for example A. Proceed the typical specification for scheduling. Save the settings. You'll see the scheduler event has been modified. And here is the file of the report generated by the modified scheduler event. I hope this video was useful. Don't be shy, share with colleagues and partners, leave comments and questions. Or subscribe since board and give us some stars on the GitHub.